team here that I'd come on and offer Lenny and I, my dog, that I'd come on and offer a, a short chair flow um, for those of us that have been sitting a lot or if you just need to move your body a little bit or you just want to practice yoga with me today. So I'm glad you're here. I'm going to wheel myself back. I'm, on a, I'm in a wheelie chair. Don't recommend, but um, that's what I got right now. So I'm going to sit in my chair. My knees are bent. My feet are flat on the floor. I'm sitting up tall, noticing the contact of my booty on the bottom of my chair. My shoulders are going to come back and down. I'm going to bring my chin towards my chest. Pause in here for a moment. Bring my right ear over to my right shoulder. Breathing. And then my left ear over to my left shoulder. And come back up to center. I'm going to turn my palms up towards the ceiling. And as I inhale, I'm going to lift my arms up really high, sliding those shoulders down my back once again. I'm going to take my left hand and grab my left wrist, just giving a tug over towards the left side of my space, keeping my shoulders down, rooting my booty down. It doesn't have to be a lot to find that sensation. Then I'm going to let go and take my right hand and grab my left wrist, tugging over towards the right. You'll notice I'm still sitting up tall. My torso is not turning in any way. I'm just giving that wrist a tug. Shoulders are back and down, finding that breath. I'm going to inhale and let go. My palms are going to face forward as I exhale back down. I give my shoulders a couple of rolls towards the back of my space. And then I'm going to switch directions and come towards the front of my space. And then inhale my arms up once again. I'm going to turn my torso towards the right. I'm going to bring that left hand and rest it on the side of my right thigh. And bring that right hand back behind me. I'm holding on to the side of the chair here. You can also Wrap your arm around your back if that feels good. Finding a gentle twist here. Letting your gaze be your guide. Not contorting or pushing past the place that feels good for you in your body today. Pausing to breathe here. On your next inhale, sweep your arms back up to the sky, this time turning your body towards the left side of your space, bringing that right hand to the side or top of that left thigh, drawing that left hand behind you, and letting your gaze be your guide here. This doesn't have to be a deep twist. It's just adding some movement some intentional movement into your day. Take another deep breath here. And exhale. Inhale your arms all the way back up to the sky. Palms come forward and float them back down. Beautiful. I'm going to bring my left hand to my right shoulder and my right hand to my left shoulder. I'm going to tuck my chin once again. I give myself a little hug here. Remembering myself, remembering to ground, reminding myself of all that I am outside of the noise, outside of the chaos. Slowly lift your head back up. You can let go of your arms, find a focal point down at the floor, in Sanskrit, the language of yoga, they call that a drishti, the point at which we can focus our attention. Breathing in, breathing out here. And 
and bring your gaze back up. You're going to lift up that right foot up off the floor. So I'm going to wheel back a little bit further so you can see me from the side. So I'm going to lift that foot up off the floor. I'm going to flex my foot. If it's helpful, you can bring your hands around your thighs. You don't want to effort here so hard that you're not able to maintain your breath. So it doesn't have to come up high if you want. You can also place the top of your heel on the floor and just keep those toes lifted, just adding some movement into our legs. And then wherever you are, let it all go. I'm going to do the same on the other side. If you like, you can use your hands to pick up your thigh, keeping that foot flexed. Other options to have your heel on the floor, toes flexed. And come back to center. Beautiful. Sitting up tall, checking in with that posture once again, sliding those shoulders down the back. Breathing, allowing. Inhale your hands out in front of you like you're about to receive something that you're excited about, you just begin to find some gentle rotations of the wrists, one direction and then the other. And then sway and make fists with your hands, really stretching those hands out as much as you can, remembering that our body mechanics are unique to us, so they might look different for us than someone else. And then let your hands float down to your thighs, sitting up tall once again, inhaling and sweeping your arms up. Let your gaze lift, shoulders come back and down, bringing your palms together as you exhale to heart center. We'll do that three more times. Inhale, sweeping our arms up, palms come together at the top. Exhale to heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms up, palms come together, exhale to heart center. Last time, inhale your arms up, palms come together, exhale to heart center. Bring your palms back down, adjust your shoulders back down. Come to sitting up tall. Close your eyes if that feels good for you. You can also find a soft gaze down at the floor. Settling back in, coming into that heart space, that place in your chest where your heart muscle beats just for you. Noticing the quality of what's going on there. You might be noticing your heart muscle actually beating. You might be noticing some feelings or sensations that are present for you right now. And trying to notice without judgment. Um, the practice of mindfulness is in the noticing and the coming back. Because as human beings, we know that our minds love to wander, they love to pull us in many different directions. And part of the practice of mindfulness, of embodiment, is to notice that pull. Notice when we notice the pull and come back. It doesn't mean we don't get pulled on those thought trains and go down those paths for a few moments, but it's in the coming back without judgment and with gentle kindness that we really can lean into that practice of mindfulness. Take a couple more deep breaths at your own rhythm. Settling back in, planting your feet firmly on the floor, sitting up tall, but with ease, shoulders back and down, hands resting on your thighs or your armrests. If you like, you can bring your hands to heart center. You can find your hands together at prayer and tuck your chin or you can keep them in your lap. Whatever feels 
good for you in your body today. I will close this video and our time together with these words. I honor the place in you where your humanity dwells, the place that is filled with love, truth, peace, justice, equity, and community. And when I am in that place in me and you are in that place in you, together we are connected at heart center. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, 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 peace. Thanks for joining me today, friends. I hope this uh, gentle, quick chair flow was helpful for you. And stay tuned for next time. Bye.